In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this magical hair growth treatment if you want a full hair, long hair and healthy hair. Or maybe you want to stop hair shedding, hair breakage, itchy scalp, grow back those stubborn areas that refuse to grow back then this treatment is definitely for you. This hair growth oil has many great benefits for your hair, your scalp, and the overall health of your hair. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested, you know what to do. Grab a seat and let's get into it. The first ingredient for today's video is Moringa. One of the most important benefits of Moringa is that it helps to boost hair growth. Moringa contains vitamin A, vitamin B, and omega-3 fatty acid. All those nutrients nourish the hair and promote hair growth. Vitamin A plays a crucial role in the development of healthy cells. Moringa also contains zinc. Low level of zinc has been linked to hair loss and poor hair growth as well. So zinc plays a major role when it comes to hair growth. It's an essential nutrient for keeping your hair strong and healthy. It helps to repair damaged hair, prevent hair breakage, and keep your scalp healthy. Moringa also helps to nourish the hair follicles, which can help to prevent hair loss. In today's video, I'm going to be using Moringa powder. You can also use fresh Moringa leaves as well. So it depends what country you're watching me from, okay? I'm from the UK, so it's very difficult to get hold of Moringa leaves. So if you can get hold of Moringa leaves, that will be perfect. But if you can't, you can go ahead and purchase yourself Moringa powder. So I purchased my Moringa powder from my local store. So you can also purchase it from Amazon as well. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of Moringa powder. Moringa powder is extremely powerful. So one tablespoon should be fine. My next ingredient that I'm going to be using in today's video is ginger. So um, when purchasing your ginger, make sure you purchase the correct one. So as you guys can see, we have two different type of ginger. This is the GMO ginger and this is the correct ginger. So if you want to know if you're purchasing the right ginger, the size is a giveaway. So as you can see, the GMO one is really massive and the real ginger is really small in comparison. So make sure to purchase the right ginger. You don't want to purchase the GMO because you're not going to see any results. So make sure you purchase the correct one. So I'm going to go ahead and wash the ginger. Then I'm going to use the paper towel to remove the excess water from the ginger. We don't want the oil to contain water. If you want your oil to last for a very long time, you want to make sure it doesn't contain any water. So that's the reason why we're using the paper towel to remove the excess water from the ginger. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the ginger into smaller pieces. So if you guys noticed, I didn't remove the skin of the ginger because the skin contains so many great vitamins. Ginger helps to improve circulation to the scalp and it helps to stimulate hair follicles in return, promote healthy hair. Ginger also contain high level of minerals and vitamins, which can help to strengthen your hair. It prevents hair loss, dandruffs, hair breakage, and it's amazing at restoring moisture to your hair as well. So remember not to peel the skin of the ginger as this is very beneficial for our natural hair. Once I'm done cutting the ginger into smaller pieces, I transfer it to my blender. Our next ingredient is cloves. So cloves has an amazing benefit 
when it comes to hair growth so if you've been following me on this channel you know i love cloves and rosemary i always incorporate either one of those ingredients because both ingredients are amazing and very effective as well so you guys already know the benefit of cloves it's amazing for hair growth it prevents hair shedding dandruffs dry itchy scalp and also improve the overall health of your scalp and your hair so to save time i blend my cloves off camera and this is how it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves i love blending my ingredients because it infused quicker when blended this oil is extremely powerful it's going to treat your scalp if you have any scalp issues our hair grow from the scalp so any treatment that has to do with treating your scalp is something that you really need to pay attention to the next ingredient I'm going to be adding is my chosen oil I'm going to be using two of them in today's video so the first one that I'm going to be using is olive oil olive oil is one of my favorite oil to use because it just work amazing for my kids hair so I tend to stick with it it can easily penetrate into your hair shaft it moisturizes your hair if you're going to be using it to seal in moisture to your hair it's amazing for dry scalp it prevents dandruffs and itchy scalp as well the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is almond oil I also love almond oil as well. Almond oil is very similar to grapeseed oil, okay? They have really similar properties. It's a very lightweight oil. It can add shine to your hair. It helps to prevent dandruff. It can easily penetrate into your hair shaft. It's amazing for low porosity hair to retain moisture and water to the hair. I'm going to be adding half cup of almond oil. So when it comes to the measurement, you don't have to follow the exact measurement. It all depends on the amount of oil you're trying to make. Also, when it comes to the chosen oil, you can use any oil of your choice. Use whatever oil that works best for your hair type. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and blend everything together. Once I'm done blending, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer my mixture into a bowl. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the double boiler method. You can also do the frying method as well. The choice is yours. Pick whatever method that works best for you. If you're going to be doing the frying method, make sure the cooker is on the lowest heat because you don't want to destroy all the nutrients and all the benefits in the ingredients you want to retain all the nutrients and all the benefits so make sure the cooker is on the lowest heat if you're going to be doing the frying method so i went ahead and add water to the pan then i'm going to place my bowl into the pan then i'm going to transfer it to the cooker so this method takes longer for the ingredient to infuse into the oil so therefore i'm going to allow it to sit in the hot water for about 30 to 45 minutes so whenever you're doing a double boiler method always make sure to allow it to infuse for 30 to 45 minutes as i mentioned before double boiler method takes really long time for the ingredient to infuse into the oil so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel after 45 minutes this is how it looks like so after cooling down this is how the oil looks like now i'm going to go ahead and transfer the oil into my mason jar so i'm going to allow it to infuse for two days you can allow it to infuse longer it all depends on preference for me i'm going to allow it to infuse for two days so remember that the longer you allow it to infuse the more powerful the hair growth is so i would suggest allow it to infuse for two days or longer because you want the oil to be as powerful as it can be so make sure you infuse it for two days or longer 
after two days this is how it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and strain it out i personally love the smell of this oil just in case you don't like the smell of this oil i'm going to show you guys a trick you can use to improve the smell of this oil so when straining this oil out make sure to use anything that has a very tiny hose remember that we blend all our ingredients earlier on and you don't want any particles from the cloves and the ginger in your oil so make sure you use something that has a very tiny hose so that you don't have any particles in your oil so this is how the oil looks like once i'm done it's the color for me the color the color it's amazing seriously it looks amazing it looks delicious and it's effective as well this hair growth oil is so effective so make sure to give this recipe a go so as you guys can see i have some of the moringa powder in my oil so i'm just going to go ahead and strain it out one more time you want to make sure your oil is clean and no particles or residue in your oil so make sure to strain it out again if you have any particles in your oil now i'm going to go ahead and add vitamin e oil vitamin e oil can help to prevent hair breakage there are so many ways in which you can use vitamin e oil to grow your hair with this recipe i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of vitamin e oil vitamin e oil is also amazing for scalp issue the best way to use vitamin e oil is to apply it to your hair strand this will help to reduce hair breakage and strengthen your hair so remember i mentioned earlier on that i personally love the smell just in case the smells bother you you can go ahead and add your essential oil you can go ahead and add essential oil such as lavender tea tree peppermint um cloves rosemary just add any essential oil of your choice i'm going to go ahead and add tea tree essential oil i'm going to be adding five drops of tea tree essential oil so this part is optional if you like the smell of the oil you don't have to add essential oil if you don't like the smell then go ahead and add your essential oil i'm also going to go ahead and add lavender essential oil i love the smell of lavender i'm going to be adding six drops of lavender essential oil lavender essential oil has this amazing fragrance to it and it will also help to strengthen your hair strand as well so as i said before just add your favorite essential oil so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell so each time i upload new diy hair growth recipe you will be the first to watch so once i'm done adding all my ingredients i went ahead and mix everything together once i'm done mixing i went ahead and transferred the oil into my applicator bottle for easy use so you can use this hair growth oil to seal in moisture to your hair if you're going to be using this hair growth oil to seal in moisture to your hair make sure to use the lco method you can also use this hair growth oil as a hot oil treatment so what you need to do is warm your oil up using the double boiler method do not use the microwave the microwave is going to kill all the nutrients and the vitamin in the oil so make sure to use the double boiler method to warm your oil up as i mentioned before you don't want to use the microwave 
microwave will kill all the amazing benefits in the oil once you warm your oil up using the double boiler method then you can go ahead and apply it to your entire hair and scalp then you can cover it for about 45 minutes after 45 minutes you can go ahead and wash it out you can also use this hair growth oil as overnight treatment as well apply the oil to your entire hair and scalp then go ahead and cover your hair then you can wash it out the next day so thank you guys so much for watching comment in the comment section if you have any question for me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video Thank you guys. Bye.